Well, let's start from radius to diameter. We know that two radii give us a diameter. And so if this is five centimeters, then this will be 10 centimeters. And if the diameter is 10 centimeters, what will be the circumference? Always write out your formula. C equals pi times diameter. In this case, C would equal 3.14 times 10 centimeters. Would equal, well, multiplying by 10 is very easy for us, 31.4 centimeters. That's our answer here. So we can write here 31.4. Make sure you write centimeters. If you leave it out, you'll be throwing away your marks. Well, in the second uh, row of the table, we know that the diameter is 2 centimeters. So the radius will be what? Half of the diameter. That's going to be 1 centimeter. And if the diameter is 2, well, how do we get the circumference? Circumference equals pi times diameter. Circumference will equal 3.14. How do I know that pi is 3.14? Well, it's told me to use 3.14 up here. So I'm using it. Times 2 equals. You're not expected to be able to do this in your mind, although it's good if you can, and you should begin to get more comfortable with some of these. But it's better to work it out to be sure. 4 times 2, 8. 1 times 2, 2. 3 times 2, 6. How many numbers after the decimal point? 2. So our point must go here. So the answer is 6.28 centimeters. Let's keep our centimeters in here so we don't forget to write them at the end. And that's our answer. 6.28 centimeters. I hope everybody understands that. And if you do, that's excellent. And if not, well, we'll keep going on it until you do. Let's move on.